Let's talk about the Real Housewives of Lagos as they cast. In today's video, I'll talk about ladies I feel should join the Real Housewives of Lagos cast and talk about current housewives I feel production should retain. So in today's video, I'll be listing popular Lagos socialites that will definitely spice up the show as well as ultra wealthy wives will definitely bring great content to the show and keep viewers entertained with their glamorous and luxurious lives. Before we proceed, do not forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and turn on your notification bell to get notified whenever i make a new post firstly we have the reality tv gold messi ak messi ak is clearly one of the best reality tv stars in nigeria she has an ultra luxurious lifestyle and represents a particular genre of women messi ak first gained recognition through the hit reality show big brother ninja and has since then featured in two seasons of her own personal reality show she was also nicknamed the queen of highlights as a result of her constant serving of content and keeping audiences glued to their screen Mercy is also very fashionable and we all know real housewives of lagos cast are known for their extravagant fashion she is also a boss babe which is one of the major criteria needed to become the castmate in the real housewives of lagos Mercy also represents a particular genre of women in nigeria which i think is lacking on the show she is a typical representation of nigerian influencers known for flaunting their questions fashionable worlds and she's the sort of woman most nigerian girls desire to be like wealthy fashionable and influential i feel messi would definitely give fans a reason to talk next we have toyin lawani so this is one of the housewives i would love the producers to retain i feel toyin is also a reality tv gold i feel toyin ticks all the boxes when it comes to reality tv star she's successful business oriented fashionable and an inspiration to numerous nigerian girls I also feel Toyin is very vulnerable and doesn't mind putting her life out there. Compared to other housewives who deliberately hide certain parts of their lives, Toyin seems very vulnerable. She's open with her love life, her business, her health struggle, her family and just so many things. She's also very dramatic, entertaining and a true representation of a Lagos woman. Toyin is also very Nigerian and flaunts her culture and heritage in a very beautiful way. Although, I feel like a constant physical assault should be addressed. I don't think it's right to keep physically assaulting the other ladies whenever there is a verbal altercation. Other than that, I feel Toyin is pure vibes and should remain on the show and she's also a true Lagosian. Next, we have Messi Aigbe. I feel Messi Aigbe is a true queen and also very self-aware. She's also the person in Yabo thinks she is. Messi Aigbe is not only one of the most followed women in Nigeria but also one of the most fashionable. She also carries herself with so much grace and sophistication and she's also a typical boss babe and she truly represents the title of the show the real housewives of lagos we all know lagos is a business driven city and lagos housewives are hustlers regardless of how much their husbands own Miss Egbe is also very glamorous and quite controversial and she has lasted so long in the Nigerian entertainment industry and fully understands showbiz. Miss Egbe is also very powerful in the Nigerian entertainment industry and I feel her addition to the show will do a lot. I would also love to get a little glimpse into she and her husband's life. They seem very entertaining and dramatic on the internet. Miss Egbe is definitely a missing puzzle on the show and I hope she gets featured on the third season. Next is Laura KG. Laura should definitely be retained on the show. She has a very strong impact on the show. I love that Laura knows when to instigate drama and knows when to be mature. Laura also seems very bold and fearless. And just like Toyin, she seems very vulnerable and open with different parts of her life, including her marriage, businesses, pregnancy, and other aspects of her life. Laura is also a boss babe and a serial entrepreneur. She has also stepped up her fashion game and I can't wait to see what she'll be serving for season 3. Laura is also very opinionated and very expressive. Laura is also quite unpredictable and that spices up the show. It's like she has a couple of personalities and you can't guess her mood for the day. Sometimes she's all bubbly and drama free and other times she's ready for full blown drama. Laura also acts like a typical Nigerian and she doesn't try to be foreign and I love that. I personally believe Laura will be returning for season 3 and I hope she does. She can sometimes be chaotic but I feel she's one of the most genuine amongst the women. And I also feel she does her best in representing the Igbo Nigerian women which I feel is very important. Next we have the drama king herself, King Tonto. Tonto DK is a famous and iconic Nollywood actress. She is also very controversial and one of the most talked about women in Nigeria. I feel Tonto's addition to the show is very much needed. I feel the show is filled with so many puppets. We need more women like Tonto on the show who can always stand their ground irrespective of what people think about them. Tonto is also very beautiful and fashionable and a big name in the Nigerian entertainment industry. Tonto is also notorious for going so hard whenever she decides to indulge in an altercation and I'm sure she would definitely pressure the other women and cause drama. I think Tonto and Messi would also be able to take Iyabo off her eye us and remind her that she's not the queen or mommy of the show as she thinks. Tonto Dike is also one of the most followed women in Nigeria and I believe she will attract more audience for the show. Tonto is also an hustler and has a very entertaining personality. She's a mix of bubbly and crazy and can be quite unpredictable. 
Tonto has also evolved drastically over the years, and I feel insights into her life would definitely be very entertaining. Tonto's presence would definitely spice up the show and bring lots of unspilled secrets to light. The social media queen definitely knows how to instigate conversations on the internet, and the addition to the show will serve as more publicity and be a really smart choice for the producers of the show. And she's also been highly requested to join the show. Next is Chama Ikoku. I know Chama was one of the most irritating people to watch this season, but I feel she can also be quite entertaining. Although I doubt she'll be returning for season 3, because she has openly talked about regretting her decision to join the show. Although I feel Chama's looks are always interesting to see, and she represents a particular genre of women. The young and classy Nigerian women who are unmarried, and are only concerned with living their life to the fullest and looking as glamorous as possible. Choma also has a very sharp mouth and will always serve punchlines. Choma was also way more interesting in season 1 and I do hope we see that part of Choma if she ever returns for season 3. I feel like disgusting behaviour in season 2 was a result of her friendship with Yabo. I feel they are both horrible for each other and their friendship is very uncomfortable to watch. Choma is also very eloquent and knows how to express herself really well. Her confessionals are always very entertaining and I really love her charisma. She is also very confident and knows how to instigate drama. She instigates drama and sits back and watches the ladies indulge in those occasions. She's also sometimes petty, which can be quite interesting to watch. I just feel Chama's addition to the show completes the puzzle. Next, we have Bob Risky. Bob Risky is the most requested person to join the Real Housewives of Lagos. Right from the very first season, fans have persistently asked that Bob Risky join the show. Dr. Romo's addition to the show was very silly, and I feel Bob Risky would have been a better cast. Bob is very interesting and one of the most talked about people in Nigeria. She's also one of the most influential people on social media, and I feel her influence on the show will be felt if added. Bob also gives typical Lagos babe vibe, and I think she's definitely going to deliver on the show. She has a very glamorous life and loves to brag of her world, which is typical of Lagos supposed big girls. Bob also represents a particular set of people in the country that I feel no one else can do, and she's clearly undiluted entertainment. Bob is also known for being very bold and dramatic, and doesn't seem to be scared of anyone. Bob's addition to season 3 will definitely be the producer's best decision and help in smoothly achieving drama for the show as well as more audiences. And lastly we have Mori Fate. Fate is definitely reality TV show gold. She has a very glamorous and extravagant life and exudes class. Fate is also very fashionable and well put together and serves as role model to lots of viewers. I love that she has the audacity to stand her ground and doesn't care about the other housewives opinion. Fate who was a new cat this season was clearly the diamond of the season. She was the most talked about person of the season and carried the show so well. I also feel like she represents a particular genre of women which is definitely needed on the show. She represents women who have experienced ghetto life but have managed to become refined and classy. She is also very fashionable and knows how to spark conversations with her looks. I do honestly hope Fate makes a return for season 3 and would love to see the dynamic of the show with these ladies being the cast of the show. I pray Yabo doesn't return, she serves drama in a very horrible way. As well as Miriam, she often looks ridiculous and Sanya was barely on that show. Anyways guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think should be joining the Real Housewives of Lagos Season 3? And do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up.